The only people who ever say this time is different are the people who are not old enough to remember that nothing is ever different. Honestly, nothing is ever different. Even today, people draw parallels to 19, the 1930s in Europe, and they're close parallels. You hope to make it different, but the people who don't understand history are always doomed to repeat history. Now, going back to your issue about the, the high inflation numbers and all that, it's not comfortable, but, but people tend to forget that in my view, in the views of many others, central banks have been unrealistic for a long time. Zero interest rates, negative interest rates, uh, because of what happened in the last financial crisis. Now, in retrospect, I think people are recognizing that central banks went on for too long a period of time. They could have already started tightening up a little bit to a very low interest rate. But no, it was like stimulus, stimulus, stimulus. And then suddenly they get hit by a number of events from supply chain uh, lock, lock, lockdowns to COVID and so on that caused inflation. So to me, this is, this is going back to the old normal. But, but as a business that is looking to expand, and you are in the, like you said, right. brick and mortar, right? Sure, You're looking sure, to expand. Sure. The cost of capital, access to capital right. gets challenged in a rising hey, rate environment. As, uh, I've just said in, in both the Forbes and your session that for people from my industry, when we've seen near death, We've looked at near death during COVID when we had absolutely nobody in our hotels. We had bonds to repay. We had to have let people go. When you come back from the abyss, having to pay higher interest rates is not a big deal because those of us who've survived are not financially indebted. We are not in a situation where uh, high interest rates are going to kill us. What will, will possibly kill us is the other thing that I've talked about, which is something that in my recollection of history and I've only been working for 50 years we've never seen before and that is this really super aggressive decoupling th th that's caused by largely by geopolitics and it was beginning people used to use a kind word and they, they called it deglobalization I think the deglobalization is unraveling so quickly yeah. that you're having things like pre-sanctions you have the obvious sanctions of the U.S. against Russia, but you're having pre-sanctions, meaning if you really look deep down, so many industries now in the West are already beginning to pre-sanction parts coming in from China. Yeah. China is reading that calligraphy on the wall, as it sure, were, sure. and they've basically decided that they need to be self-sufficient mm -hmm. when SWIFT has been weaponized.